Okay, here we're testing out the performance of the RX 6600. We're gonna look at 1080p and 1440p, and this is on the patch 1.5, which introduced a FSR addition to the game, as well as changing some of the ray tracing. The shadows are ray traced now even indoors as opposed to just sunlight. And there could be some other performance adjustments. We have this built-in benchmark tool. So that's what we're looking at here. The first thing we're looking at is just ultra versus high and we're gonna try to get an idea of what our performance is, and we saw that at Ultra, we definitely did below 60 FPS. We saw it a lot in that bar scene. And so we're trying to dial in on what's the preferred setting if we're just playing with a native preset, no FSR or anything like that. Right now, to me, it's looking like high is the winner. Hard to spot any major meaningful uh, visual differences between the two, but the frame rate, like right here, look at that, 49 versus up in the 60s. I think that high is the winner. So for the future 1080p testing, we're now gonna be using high as our, uh, you know, what you have to beat. So now we're gonna look at, well, what if we did ultra, but we used FSR ultra quality setting in order to try to, well, have those settings bump up to ultra, but still maintain actually even a higher frame rate than we're getting at 1080p high. Now, it's nice to get the even higher frame rate, but the visual additions that you get from the ultra setting, I'm not sure are worth the visual loss that you get from doing FSR at ultra quality. At 4K, FSR ultra quality is very hard to tell from native, but to my eye, at 1080p, you can definitely tell it's happening. And if you look at the little details in the distance and watch these palm trees, especially as we're about to pan through the city, and you look at the palm trees in the sunlight, I just feel like you they look really fuzzy and shimmery with FSR on at, the, at 1080p. So, I'm gonna say it's not quite worth it here, considering that we could just play at the high preset. Now what I'm gonna look at is some ray tracing. So this is just the RT medium preset. This basically plays the game at all the ultra settings, but then adds in ray traced shadows and ray traced light at medium. I believe that this has got even more difficult to run with the 1.5 update because indoor scenes like this used to not actually be ray tracing the shadows. Um, it was really only sunlight that was having the ray traced shadows. But even though the tooltip in the graphics setting menu still says <laughs> that um, the ray traced shadows are only on sunlight, I believe they just haven't updated that tooltip because the shadows um, everywhere do appear to be ray traced now if you look at them side by side. And while that's nice and everything, I, I mean, honestly, to my eye, the rasterized shadows just look different, not worse, <laughs> to be honest. But what we're gonna look at next is, could we actually use FSR in order to try to get this ray tracing to work? So we're gonna go ahead and kick on the FSR ultra quality on that RT medium preset. Again, you can tell that the shadows indoors here are ray traced, if you look at the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, I believe you see those softer shadows, more realistic shadows. So it does make a difference, but again, to my eye, it doesn't necessarily look that much better. It just looks different. It has this massive frame rate hit. And again, we're having to use FSR in order to get what uh, over 30 FPS. Now, it does look like this is playable. If you wanted to use ray tracing, Although this is still not using the ray traced reflections, you know, you could lock the game at 30 FPS, play with a controller, maybe sit back on your couch at a distance and you don't really notice the FSR too much. I don't know, guys, it's not gonna be my choice. And I really don't think you should be buying the RX 6600 for ray tracing. But I thought I'd test it out here just to show you that, you know, if you don't mind using the FSR, but man, on those palm trees, I really, yeah, it just looks, I don't like using FSR at 1080p. Now, to my eye, it's the ray traced reflections that have the most meaningful impact on the image quality of the game. So those would be the ones I'd be more willing to put a little work into trying to do. So in this scene, I've gone with the high preset rather than ultra, and then I just turned on ray traced reflections, 
And when I ran it without FSR, it was just a slideshow. So I did also turn on FSR Ultra Quality. You can see that the frame rate's here are actually better than we just used the uh, ray, tracing, ray tracing medium preset. So, um, and then you do get these nice reflections there. You, and in certain scenes in the game, the reflections really do pop and make the city feel a little bit more alive. So in my opinion, if you were gonna use ray tracing, on this graphics card, I'd probably go with settings more like this. Uh, turn it down to the high preset to gain a little bit of performance back, add in those ray trace reflections, but you really do need FSR to get you there, and to my eye it's just not worth it, especially with the frame rate still so low. Um, anyways, let's jump into 1440p. Now, while I highly recommend the RX 6600 graphics card, it's for 1080p. You can see that jumping, jumping up to 1440p has a massive performance impact, more so than on a lot of other graphics cards. Um, the AMD RDNA 2 architecture, I believe it has something to do with the way the memory works and their infinity cache, where scaling up to higher resolutions has a larger performance penalty than it does on most other graphics cards. Now, that doesn't mean it's unplayable here. You could see that even at 1440 Ultra, you could play the game if you were okay with maybe a 30 FPS type experience. Um, whereas 1440p high settings are really fairly playable, although still lower than I would want. Which means that uh, as soon as we finish this little pass through the benchmark, we're going to try out both lower settings. We're also going to look at FSR. So we're going to see, could we make 1440p playable on this GPU? Again, I don't recommend this GPU for 1440p, but it can work as a budget, budget card here. You really have to drop down to medium settings in a game like Cyberpunk, though. And that's what we're seeing here on the left. In this uh, really demanding bar scene with lots of character models, Lots of things going on. I think we got the fog, everything. We're still in the mid 50s, and especially if you're on a variable refresh rate screen, uh, dropping into the 50s is not particularly noticeable. And then we'll see as we go go through some of these other scenes, uh, some areas are going to be much easier to run. So I think if you're going to play at 1440p at native without using FSR, I think medium makes the most sense. And in this game, going down to low just has a massive hit to the visuals, so I'm not even gonna bother testing it out. We get very solid playable frame rates here at medium, so we'll just leave it at that. And honestly, when you look at it compared to ultra, yeah, you can see some differences, but like, I mean, for that performance gain, I think <laughs> playing at medium is just fine. Okay, but what about FSR? We got FSR now. So uh, I tried using FSR on the ultra, settings, and the performance was still not close enough to 60 for me to feel uh, it was worth it. So what I was trying to do then was kind of match the performance I was getting at 1440p medium, and by going down to the high preset and then turning on the FSR to ultra quality, I was able to get performance pretty close to just the medium settings at native, actually a little bit better, uh, which is nice to see. Now, at 1440p, FSR is much more usable to me, although on a larger 1440p screen, you're probably still gonna be able to tell a small loss of sharpness. I was looking at this on a 32 inch, well, it's technically a letterbox on my 4K screen, but it's equivalent to a 32 inch native 1440p screen. Um, it looks pretty good though. So anyway, I think this uh, graphics card does really well in this game and there's a variety of settings you could play it at. Hopefully this was useful for you and have an excellent day.